Welcome to another part of ESPN X Games Skateboarding. This time, we're going through arcade mode, son of Los Angeles here. 20,000 points, crash five targets, six checkpoints, you know, find the X Games emblem. Just basically the stuff we've already done in the tutorial, but now we're actually doing it in arcade mode, which is where all the main stuff is. And yeah, as you saw, there are two scores. As I said beforehand, there is the smaller score, the easier one, and the harder score. Uh, in this case, 20,000 for the first level here, which is Los Angeles. All of these, for the most part, are kind of small areas. Uh, this one is. Not all of them are, though. Also, as you can tell, I'm using the horror board. Yeah, make six commas. That's the amount here. They will grow over time. But right now, we've just got six commas to deal with. That's our lowest right now. And also, there's the music again, which is never going to play. Go! Though we do get some music when I skate around because we have the one of the sound effect boards, I'll call it. We also have this guy here, which will, you know, talk about your tricks you're doing and all the stuff you're pulling off and such. I'm pretty sure he is left over from Evolution Skateboarding, or if not, at least similar in, you know, what he's doing. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, this is essentially going to be very much similar to how that game plays. The biggest issue with this is going to be taking care of these hydrants. They are your breakable this time, and they're actually not that easy to take care of or easy to find. You'll find one just out here. Like, I don't know how that makes any sense. It doesn't really, but there you go. That's one of them. Some of them can be fairly well hidden, uh, other times they are very much obvious. It's just trying to hit them is the problem, because, you know, you have that issue of actually license. hitting them. Also, I need to take care of the combo and the score thing, the easy score. We still have 20,000 points to go for, which, uh, as you just saw, I tried to go for it with the hard late flip there. Didn't go so well. And yeah, there's, there's the manual, it's completely fucking useless, but hey, it exists. I got a minute for 30 seconds, I'll still be able to complete every goal here in one go. There's the crash license, which is taking care of all the hydrants for this one. I'll take care of the, uh, the bullshit there as well. But as you can pretty much hear when it comes to this, you can hear that... Whenever I do jumps, or tricks, or grinds, or just skate around, there's a sound effect playing. The sound effect is always different depending on what board you're using, but as you can see, if you use a sound effect skateboard, you do get some unique sounds out of certain things you're doing. Though after some time, it does tend to get rather annoying to hear it, so that's why we're only using it once. We're never going to use it ever again after this level. Especially since these boards aren't even that great to skate around in, uh, you'll find that there are better ones to utilize than this. Also, you're noticing there is a name there with a glowy. That glowy has to be a skateboard, and that is the hidden skateboard. Uh, you already know there is the secret one, uh, the unlockable ones that you, we got from the X Games mode. There'll be more to come. But there are also the hidden boards. These are the actual collectible boards we have to look for and collect. However, we can't just grab that board. In order for us to get said board, we are going to need to be said skater. This is a taking care of all goals with McCrank here, which I'm going to be playing as McCrank for every single level, and completing all the goals as Rick McCrank, no one else. Uh, for the most part, yeah, I am going to need to go ahead and switch my character now to somebody else in order to get the skateboard. We already saw that one was Chris, and we want to know which Chris it is here, so I wanted to be that one. As you can see below on the icon, by the way, that I left from, there are three dots there. That is your skateboards. So here's Chris. We'll be Chris Sen right now. I'm going to get his skateboard. I'm going to jump cut over to those skateboards, by the way. Here's his first skateboard, by the way. So you already know where the first skateboard is. Behind this fence. Go ahead and grab it. It'll be yellow like that when you can see you can grab it. And there you go, hidden board. 
And I'm going to show you what the game says when we, you know, leave and have that hidden board. Because you just have to leave and you got it. See? Same thing as the secret board thing. The bonus board. Uh, so yeah, here's the secret board, by the way, for Chris. Just a face palm. There you go. Next up on the list happens to be, I believe, uh, yeah, Bob Burnquist, you know, the man. Who got his balls fucking knocked down. Here's his board, by the way. And, uh, here is his secret board. It's on top of this car here, over by the fountain area. You already know how to get over to this area anyway, so, yeah, just grab that and there you go. And here's what his second board looks like from grabbing that. It's not that great. Anyway, after that is one more guy left, and it happens to be, I believe, Chad. We're going to be playing as a Chad now, but not for long. Chad Fernandez. Here's his first board that you play with. It's like an afro sort of smiley there. And here's where his board is. Stop here, turn right, it's just over the corner there. And that's all three boards of this area. So that's Los Angeles taken care of now. And here is his second board, by the way. It's like a devil thing now. Alright, now it's time to go straight back to being Rick McCrank because not only does he have his board coming up next at this next level, but we play as him every time. And I'm also going to be using the cartoon board next, which means we'll have cartoon sound effects going on. Hope you're happy with that. Right now, nothing's changed on what the requirements are. The scores are the same, the combos the same, and everything is the same about, but. There are different things to break, and how you break them is going to be different as well. With the museum especially, because the way you take care of the breakables here, it doesn't require us to just run into it and then jump up to it and then like break it down by running into it. It requires us to do something different. Some of the objectives here do require you to do something different. So yeah, we have to destroy five direction boards, and to do that we have to jump on the direction board. Not as easy as you think it sounds, because you can't really slow down very well in this game, and the direction boards aren't that big. It's very easy to just jump right over them. And it's very easy to not jump high enough to get them, too. So, yeah, not great. As you can see, us riding around is like a drum roll thing. There's like a bounce thing as well, and a crash effect and everything. This one might be the most annoying board in the game, honestly. I mean, yeah, the screen when we jump and shit is also fucking annoying. But it's just the constant boinging. That's gonna get obnoxious. <laughs> um... But we'll only be using this board once again. I'm not gonna see it after this level, so there's that at least. You can be happy about that. And not only that, it'll be our last uh, sound effect board for some time. We're not gonna get another one for a while, so there's not many sound effect boards in this game. So be happy about that. We will be just using all boards afterwards. Now here's the thing. I could have also gotten all the shit done in this level on my first go had I not forgotten one of the board, one of the direction panels. I did forget one of the panels, and so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that very soon when I'm done with this run here. Because first run, I am not cutting anything away. You are going to see everything of it. After that, I'm gonna cut through for the rest of them because some of these objectives can take a very long time and yeah I honestly feel like it is best that I just kind of cut around instead of you know making it too long on the level because these levels aren't that long to be in every single one of these took about like two minutes to skate around in by the way this area here really fucking sucks and here's the reason why it fucking sucks trying to jump to grinds is a nightmare. It's it's not a fucking like exaggeration what I'm saying here. It is legitimately a, lot, a nightmare to jump over to this dinosaur here and grind his fucking bones. I believe in practice when I was playing for it in practice. Um, it just took me like 
two full runs before I was able to actually be able to like figure out what kind of distance and jump I should make to even get on the fucking bones here to get on that grind. It is not good. Anyway, if I hadn't missed the panel, I would have got everything done here, but I did. So, nearly got everything done in the museum, but yeah, I didn't have enough time to get back and get that one panel, so oh well. And yes, what I did there is the only way you'll be able to actually get into that room where the X uh, emblem was, by the way. And I'm gonna get this board over here too, I missed that too. That Drix board right there on the dinosaur, yeah, tail grind as well. There are gaps in this game, they give you points. There's no gap checklist, however, and... There's no reason for you to even get the gaps, they just reshow up anyway, so I'm not going to get all the gaps, you won't even need to get all the gaps anyway, you don't get anything out of it, and there's no, check there's no checklist for the gaps, so fuck it. And not only that, but there's also the issue of just essentially what these gaps are, they're very basic. Just jumping off kickers, grinding spots, what have you. A lot of them are very basic. And there's not many to even speak of either, so... Meh. Anyway, there is Rex other board, the female one. Uh, here's Kerry Getz. I believe he is next up. His board should be fairly close. There's like a frog on his board. To get his, go on the left on the right side, and you'll find his board on the other side there, right by where that panel was that I missed the first time. Here is the second board. It's a bit more stylized. And as for the next skater, I believe it is um, Carlos. Yeah, Carlos de Andre. An Andrade. Here's his board, like a snake guy. And to get to his board, you have to grind all the way through with hop, step, and jump all the way through for congratulations. And then just grab the board on the eggs. There you go. That's Carlos's board. See, so yeah, you'll miss the element if you do that, but if you want the board afterwards, you'll have to do it anyway to actually get it. And keep note of these boards, by the way, because that's gonna be important. Anyway, here's the second deck. It's pretty neat. Water and fire, I guess. It's a bit of a fight thing going on fire versus fire. That's from McCrape because we're now going to the third level. We're going to go through half of arcade mode for this part and the other half next part. I'm going to use his regular board here, second one for this one. San Francisco. Now the scores have increased and I believe the combos increased as well. The combos are 8 and uh, the score is now 30,500. Uh, so, I mean, 15,000. So, yeah, pretty simple score still. Uh, but yeah, now the combos increase as well. And. The hardest part of San Francisco is the breakable. Two of the five breakables in this, they're they're honestly kind of bullshit. See, A commas and all of that. Our target, however, is to destroy the lights on the taxis. Two taxis are moving. It is legitimately annoying to take care of these taxis. It is non-exaggeration. These taxis fucking suck to take care of. So, in order to take care of them, you need to make sure you don't jump over them and that you get kind of lucky with them. They can hit you, by the way, so be careful of that. And the thing is, your jumps are very big. I can just barely jump up for these, so... Yeah, not a great thing, honestly. You want a bigger jump, but the jump we have right now is good enough to take care of all of them. It's just, I have to be able to actually jump to it. The best way I've found of handling it is to jump upward, essentially. If you jump downward, you're gonna eventually jump over the car. If you go upward a hill where a car is coming and you jump for it, you'll make it. You will make it eventually, and you will hit the thing. Whether you're going to survive or bail from that is, you know, it's not going to be very, you know, obvious to you, you know? Either you're going to get it, and you're not going to bail, or you're just going to crash into it. 
And for me, I crash into it twice on this run. I have gone it, however, where I don't crash into it uh, by doing that shit. But yeah, it's just... It's just not very great. And uh, yes, you can wall ride that tram there. You can do that in order to take care of shit there. Alright, so let's take care of this already. All I gotta do here is just look for the taxi, jump for the taxi, there he is, and there you go, see? And you get caught up out of that too. Caught up is a gap. Next up, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna just utilize this to get some more points. Unfortunately, as you can see, even though I'm getting a lot of combos, I'm not getting a lot of score. Getting a ton of combos does help. You've seen it help out. But it'll only help out if you're able to get the score first and then get the combo going afterwards. You don't get many scores out of grinds. And by the way, the gaps do not apply to combos. Once you get a gap, you just get the points. And it doesn't apply to your combo at all. So, yeah, the gaps aren't useful either in any matter. You'll get some bonus points, but... You'll find it's better to just do what I'm doing here to get your points... ...than to utilize any of the gaps. It is not like Tony Hawk or what have you, where gaps are useful for getting score. You will not utilize any gaps for score. It is utterly pointless. Anyway, I missed two objectives here, and I was going to miss two objectives here. I think you can get this one done in one go if you're lucky on the crash license thing. But after that, you then have to worry about the fucking checkpoint stuff here, which the first one is right over here. And you have to follow around a rather kind of crap path it's not very obvious because this path here requires you to go down that path and that is not obvious on that existing you're thinking that's just planners it's not planners it's like a a tunnel there and it's ne it's not obvious at all there's a tunnel there oh by the way there are gaps here that give you essentially a certain amount of points which i find to be funny you know because the points here are not just 700, 1000, or what have you. No, sometimes it's just triple six. Sometimes it's just the devil's number. And sometimes they can be more than one way of getting the gap, and they can count. Like right here for this uh, checkpoint. See? Same gap. However, you can't redo the gap. You can't just go back and redo the gap. Once you get the gap, that gap is gone for the rest of the run. You can get it again on your next run. You're just not going to be able to, like, go back and, like, do it again and again and again. Which, again, showcases just how fucking useless the gaps are. Even if they give you a good f few thousand points, that is only one few thousand points. And... Yeah, you're going to get a lot more just doing tricks than you are doing gaps. Anyway, now it's time for the X emblem. And it gets this emblem requires us to go to the rooftops. Because yes, you can go to the rooftops. And yeah, this is where I start finding it to be rather difficult to really be able to get this shit done in one run consistently and really well. Because the pathway to get up to the rooftop to where the X is, is long. First, you must go up that kicker up to this part of the ramp. Then you must go all the way across over to this grind here to get across from the road. Then you must go all the way up to the ramp area up to the, ro the rooftop. Use a ramp to gain speed because you need the speed to actually make this jump over the fucking entire road here to get to another building. And then you utilize that building then go right. Go all the way downwards to another grind inside this church area. Grind for it, get the X inside from the windows. And yeah, there you go. And here's the last bit of area. And there's Lincoln's uh, board there, by the way. We'll be getting Lincoln's board soon. By the way, the weird thing about how these uh, boards work is that what you're seeing right now is that. When it comes to this level here, San Francisco, and also here is Lincoln, here's his board, meh. And yeah, I'm gonna get his board right now. When it comes to San Francisco, 
And the last level, there are only two board spots, not three. So there's the first one, and here's his rodeo flip, by the way. I'll show off a few skaters in their fucking thing, I guess. But here's the other board, again, kind of meh. And lastly, we're going to be playing as uh, Chris. Why Chris? Because, legitimately, you just get his third board. Yeah, the way the boards work is kind of weird. So that's his third board there, and I like it. It's pretty neat. But yeah, it's really weird how the boards work, and that means Colin, I think, doesn't have a board yet. He only has, like, his first board. We haven't played as him yet. We'll get to him soon, though. But right now, that is going to do it for this part. Next time, we're going to the passenger line. We're going to New York. We're going to the final level of arcade mode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.